everyone is an Aries. That's right. You heard me. Everyone is an Aries. I know you don't believe me. And I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use my own birth chart. I don't give a fuck. There's this weird taboo and stigma around astrologers using their own chart to teach. And you know what? I think it's one of the best places actually to teach people from because you're living the fucking experience. You can literally tell people how it manifested in your fucking life. I'm over this fucking taboo. Okay, check this out. Check this out. You see, Aries is on my third house here. Wherever Aries is, your, is, is in your chart is where you are the most independent, the most reactive, where you have a lot of leadership. You're going to be the most direct. You're going to be the most cavalier. You're going to be the most impulsive. You're gonna be very confident, very brave, very loud here. Also, this is the area of your chart where you're inspired and you're inspiring other people. Also, this is the part of your chart where you cannot be told what to do. Bro, don't tell me what I know and don't know. You don't even know the half of it. I also wager that this area of your chart is um, where you've had a lot of intense experiences that likely shaped who you are, or there's a lot of experience here that were like physical, in your face, sudden, um, passionate. It's actually one of the most active places in your chart, because what is Aries about? Action. So how does this manifest in my life? Oh, and by the way, if you're an Aquarius rising, this is likely going to be true for you as well. The third house is friends, childhood education, uh, mental processes, information, processing, relaying. It has a lot to do with talking, thinking, exchanging information with other people. So any, any form of education could be here. Any form of educating other people could be here. This is also the house of siblings, and I do have a sibling that happens to be an Aries, interestingly enough. I tend to be very hands-on. I tend to be learning all the time. I am very good at teaching myself, and I am an independent learner. I'm very direct and confident in conversation. Like, you are not going to get bullshit from me. So this is the reason a lot of Aquarius risings tend to be uh, very quick to cut people off in their life, and that is because they are reactive in the third house of friendships. If you are bullshitting with them, they will immediately, you're gone. But also, it's about passion. Aquarius is about friendships a lot of the times. In the third house with Aries on it, there's a lot of passion around friendship. I love learning new things. Like I said, I'm always learning in the moment. I'm very responsive and reactive to new information. Also, this is a BS detector right here. Aries is a very, um, has that gut feeling about when, whether or not, like, something is bullshit or not. And uh, Aquarius risings likely get the, get the drop on that info. So this is another sign where it's like a squirrel in the candy shop. Um, there is fucking new juicy information everywhere uh, we live in the age of the information right now as a matter of fact so like there are just distractions on distractions on distractions this is a fast moving mind and uh, aquarius risings are notorious for being very intellectual very intelligent leaders of the community they're not they don't stand out for no reason this is related to courage around people courage in the community like if i see something wrong i'm going to point it out like likely gonna be the first person to point it out uh with this with this area right here like i do not care if you guys alienate me i don't care if you guys isolate me i don't care if i get backlash you guys need to know what the heck is going on it takes a lot of courage to step up and do that to speak your mind to to keep people informed this is a huge component in the reason why aquarius risings tend to take action on behalf of their community so tell me in the comments, where do you have Aries in your chart? Are you the most independent here? Are you the bravest Aries? Is this an area where you're really passionate? Do you have a lot of personal experience here? So if you're not sure what this means in your birth chart, you can sign up for a reading with me at the top of my profile.